Hey everyone, and welcome back to Spiritfarer. So, unfortunately, there was a little bit of a hiccup. I uh, started recording even though I did my little test to make sure everything works. Apparently the microphone was turned off. So I did, uh, I did record for like five minutes and absolutely everything I said was not recorded. So, I'm going to give you a little bit of a, um, of a resume as what happened. We are in Overbrook. And that is literally what's happened. We, um, I did a little little recap of last episode and uh, sailed here to, to Overbrook, which is the next area in in the mist that we wanted to to explore. And we found this guy, which is apparently our old pal Jackie. Now they didn't look like this when I found them. They they are a spirit, so I assume they are just about to join our boat. They wanted us to buy something from this vending machine, a Choco Blasters, which is some sort of chocolate bar, I guess. And after they ate it, the fog around here disappeared, and uh, he uh, now looks like this. So we're just gonna we're just gonna kick off from here. Know what could be fun? A tour of the place. You didn't come to Overbrook for nothing, right? Let Jackie give you the VIP tour. How about it? Yes? Ha! Knew it. You always were a sucker for these kind of things. Teacher's pet and all that. I can read you like an open book, Stellars. Alright, alright, let's go. And if you get scared, just grab my arm. And I actually, you know, there were several things that can be bought here, but apparently we don't have access to them at the moment, so I do wonder what that's gonna be. In either case, last time, we, um, we said goodbye to Beverly. I'm just gonna do a quick recap here. We also... What did we do last time? Now I completely, completely forgot. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. We we got our ability, of course. That's uh, that's what was uh, was was happening. We got our ability, and I was just uh, realizing in between episodes that that's you know the first time we we do the um, the event for the bottled ectoplasm. We we don't really have any boosting abilities, and this one I would assume is probably meant to be you know. We recognize you did it the first time, you got the three you needed to get through the mist. Here's a little help to make it easier in the future. So, thank you for that, for sure. I hope it's gonna benefit us greatly. Um, yes. With that, let's, uh, let's, let's, just, uh, let's just move on. Oh, hello, friend. Hello, you. Would it be possible to... Well, if it's not too much to ask, would it be possible to take a small... Just a tiny... Nothing, oh. really. Would it be possible to take a small bite of you? Uh, sure. Thank you very much. I can definitely say you taste like chicken. With hints of different spices. Oh. Maybe oregano? It was quite a good bite. Okay, I guess... What's going on here? That's a lot of people. Oh. You have absolutely nothing to say. They are in line. I... I had a little accident. I sneezed so hard that my dinner came out of my nose. I hope they can put it back in. But I don't want to be wasteful. Oh my god, that's... I brought my dog in for a checkup a few days ago. I hope he's alright. I can't feel my bones. Is that normal? I'm guessing this is some sort of hospital? You have nothing to say? Fair enough. Hey you, what's your name? Where are you from? What's your favorite color? Do you have a dream? What are you doing later? Are you helping people? Do you have a dog? Why do you only have a cat? Do you not like dogs? Have you ever been bitten by a dog? Is that why? Is it because the bite got infected? Is your arm alright? Does your arm smell or something? Can you still see out of your left eye? Are you blind now? Do you see spots when you close that eye? Did you go to the hospital to get it checked out? Is this why you are here now? Well, is it? That was a lot of questions in a very short time. Okay, let's do the tour first. He's probably gonna tell us. So, this here is the general admissions wing. It's used for... Hey, that's Jamie. Jamie, hey. Oh, hey, Jackie. What's up? Oh, nothing much, nothing much. Just giving my pal here a tour of the hospital. This is Stella, by the way. Jamie, don't mention toes, okay? I hear she's got six of them. And she's very sensitive about it. Oh, really? Hello, Stella. Nice to meet you. Thanks for telling me. I wouldn't want to... Oh, there. Made the lady mad. 
Relax, Stellars, it's just a goof. You smell like flowers and candies and new newborn babies. And I'm sure that's a compliment. Hey, that rhymes. Right, Jamie? Oh, right, yes. Good one, Jackie, good one. You, you, you're a rat. Thanks, Jamie. Talk to you later. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm kind of a local star around here. They can't get enough of old Jackie. Everyone loves me so much, I suspect some of them are faking their illnesses just to stick around. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah, let's, uh, okay, we can't actually go in there. But we can't go in here. Yeah, this, uh, this doesn't look like the greatest of hospitals, let's just be honest. Oh, hey, you. You gotta help me out. My leg is all bent up. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it hurts so bad. You gotta help me out and fast. I'm not going in there, though. I can't pay, and I have... And I hate hospitals. Why did I come here, then? That's none of your business. And I was saying, I really hate... Ho As I was saying, I really hate hospitals. They smell like vinegar. Vinegar is for chips, not hospitals. Oh, my leg. Listen. I'm gonna need a few things. Listen up. Oh, I'm in so much pain. Okay, that's actually a... Uh... Okay, you need glue, sawdust, and pork. What on earth are you gonna do with that? Breaking your leg at the hospital. Let, uh, let's let's uh, let's see if we can find what he needs, even if it all sounds a bit odd. It does sound very odd. Nothing. Okay. We are not open yet. Trust me, you'll know when it's ready. It will smell a certain kind of way. Fair enough. Guessing that's the cafeteria. Yeah, let's go talk to Jackie again. Another friend! Hey buddy, what are you up? An orderly, finally. Is anyone working in this hospital? I, uh, it's... Stop drooling and just do your job. People are hungry and they and the place is filthy. People are supposed to get healthier here, not sicker. What? Nothing to say? Never mind that guy, Stellas. He's an idiot. Hey, I'm right... Yeah, yeah, moving on. Alright. Can we get up here? No, we have to actually go through here. I don't think we talked to these people, but... Yes, that was very chickeny. Okay. Oh, that was a guy that, uh, that, that ate us. Hi there, I'm Flo. This is Lau. We're looking for our cat. She's quite old, but she's great. She can't be too far. She's so fluffy. She's, she sleeps a lot. Some Sometimes she sleeps on my back when I'm reading. Mm -hmm. It's not super comfortable for me, but she likes it. Well, have you seen a cat besides yours? No, I'm sorry, I have not. That's too bad. I was really hoping someone would have seen her. Well, we shouldn't give up. She's bound to be here somewhere. Thanks anyways. I hope we find her sooner, Lau. Okay. Let's uh, keep an eye out for for a cat, then, I suppose. Can you believe it? The nerve of this guy. Really, what was that about? I'm I'm out there busting my ass every day, every night. The pay is crap and the hours are worse. And on top of all that, I've got this entitled shithead all up my crack with his bullshit. This place is filthy. Oh no, I'm hungry. What to do, what to do? Do I tell you how to do your job? No, no I don't, because I have some manners. And I don't know the first thing about shoveling shit. What? Oh, what's this? It's... Oh shit, it's the room for the very specific patient. Very troubled, very difficult. But there's no way up anymore. The ladder probably broke while I was getting a snack. Well, can't do, uh, can't do much about that, not until management gets here anyway. She'll be fine for a while. Plus, I could really use, some, use the time off. She really is a handful. Okay. Up there? I mean, we can kind of easily get up there. Oh, that ladder. Okay. There's a chest in there. That's a chest right here. Large clean bottle. Okay. I was hoping for an XP bottle there for a second. Yeah, you. Listen, you. I'm in big trouble. I'm not even supposed to be here. They got me. They got me good. I'll get them good. 
I was sleeping in a park, minding my own business, doing what Mark does, which is sleeping in parks. I already said that. Pay attention. So I'm out like a like a bag of clementines. Then out of the blue, I'm here. I'm not even sure where you, where this is. I just know that Mark here, which is me, is not supposed to be here. Mark needs to be free. Free to sleep in parks. Free like the squirrels. So, here's the plan. I need to make a rope. A rope to help me climb down there. I've got a guy. You know, a guy. I know some guys. So this guy is standing by. Waiting for Mark here to make his escape. If you bring me some linen, I'll make a nice rope. And I'll be scot-free. And you'll get... The satisfaction of helping me, Mark. Mm. Hurry back with the linen. I, I can't eat another bowl of gruel. Gruel. Mm -hmm. But wait a second. You've already got some. So hand over the linen, will you? Uh, sure. Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you so much. I'm going to escape and meet my guy and it's going to be amazing. Mm. I can't thank you enough. Mark would say, later. But you'll never see Mark again. Mm. Was Mark a ghost? Did Mark ever exist? Well, he does, because I am Mark. Mm. Prestige. Later. I don't even know. We can get up here. We can actually. Oh, okay. So the yeah. Okay, I see. The gray things we can stand on. What was that? A very depressing place. This. Yes, that was very cheap. Okay, that's you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, is it? I don't know. Is it? Can't get in there. Okay. Let's go talk to Jackie. This is gonna be like the entire episode, looks like. Last stop. Oh. Uh, talk, oh, right. Oh. We are not open yet. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay, fair enough. And finally, the cafeteria. Always on duty for all of your slop needs. Oh, hey, Jackie. Back from break, are you? Oh, yeah. Guess I am. Did you need anything? Um, well, you see, I wanted to grab a bite here. But apparently the kitchen is out of supplies. Yeah, figures. I swear these idiots up there are going to starve us all to death. I'm sure they are all out on a cruise for a corporate retreat. Hey, don't worry. Jackie's on it. I'm sure you are. Thanks for watching out for us, Jackie. Uh, don't mention it. Well now, where could I... Oh, Stellars. You always were oh so helpful. You wouldn't uh, you wouldn't happen to have some kitchen supplies on that big boat of yours? Five bags of rice should do the trick until our next mm -hmm. shipment. I'd owe you one. Oh, but we don't have any rice. Is that a request? No, it's still a shenanigan. New request, the slop shop. I don't see it. Oh, it's here. Okay. Well, we definitely need to find some rice somewhere. Let's see what's uh, what's over here. Then. Oh, that was the machine. Nothing in here, I'm guessing. Nope. the spirit fairer, aren't you? That's what I thought. You are not the spirit oh. fairer. You are only a liar. I am the spirit fairer. I was chosen by, by Sharon to find spirits and lead them to the afterlight. Sharon, I don't know. Oh. You've been doing my job. You just showed up at the spirit fairing offices and started calling yourself Gary. Yeah, my name is Gary and I'm the real spirit oh. fairer. You saw an opening and you took it. You're a shark, aren't you? This would have never happened if, if I didn't lose the Everlight Charon gave me. Oh. You fall asleep next to a pond once and you pay for it for the rest of your life. So, listen up. You might be a liar and a cheat, but I know you're a decent person. Oh. I can feel it. That's one of the gifts of being a spirit fairer. To feel people oh. out. You would know that if you were the real spirit fairer. Anyways, I think it's your duty to help me out. From a fake spirit fairer, that's you, towards a real spirit fairer. That's me. You can go back to 
whatever you were doing, and I'll go back to being the spirit bearer. Like I said, I was chosen by Charon, not you. Lucky for you, this shouldn't be too hard. My Everlight is somewhere in the water close by. You just need to go and fish it out. You just, uh, just don't take your boat too far from this place. Oh. It should be uh, in the water near Overbrook. Okay. Now this is a. Uh, oh, there was a chest there. This is a real depressing place. Locked. Okay, something up there. And I'm guessing nothing in here. Well, I guess that's it for Overbrook then. For now, at least. Okay. We need to get ourselves some rice. Another thing I was saying was that I probably shouldn't have should have noticed this earlier, but every time we uh, we um, I'm guessing any anyway that every time we deliver a spirit, our cabin here gets a little bit more flowery. I just went back to uh, to watch one of the uh, the first videos, and there's absolutely not a single flower on it. All oh, right, last episode we talked about uh, about Hades, and I forgot how I knew. I uh, realized after the last episode because I got an achievement and uh, that's how I, re I I maybe relearned I still don't remember if I if I if I learned it as we talked to him the first time but that's how I relearned at least that he is indeed Hades because I the achievement is you know experience X encounter with uh, with Hades so that's uh, that's that's how I knew or relearned at least so there we go. Okay, you have something new for us. Okay, Hello. Francis says it's your lucky day. New errand. Okay, let's see what you have. Uh, that is nothing interesting not yet. Anyway, don't have that. A latte and some crips. Okay, garlic and tomato. Field seeds sampler pack. What is that? Tomatoes and garlic, onion and garlic. Don't have any. Of it. Oh well, we do, but we don't have them full. That's a shame. Just a thousand there. That's not. The, that's not. No, that's not a lot of money. Okay. We do have. No, we're not gonna. I don't think we're gonna sell that. We're gonna keep these because we have, you know, the mission to. Uh, what's it called? Use our, our our machines a bunch of times. Let's actually let's actually work a little bit of that. Use the crusher to experiment. Get up to the crusher then. Okay, let's see. I was using the loom earlier and I noticed that there will be some new things here that we can use. Yeah, so corn, apples and eggs suddenly. Oh, corn is not new. But apples, uh, apples and eggs are for sure. That's a failed experiment. So is that? Yep. We expected. Okay. Next up, we have uh, the foundry. We do have an old shoe, and that's actually not bad. We could we could use some more glue. Hello, Stanley. Could use some more glue. Honestly, while you do that, lastly is the loom. Here I saw something as well. I yeah, saw so leak. Let's uh, failed. Perfect. Mackerel. All right. I'm sure, we can leave this one as we could the other one. It goes down a little bit faster. Uh, 
Uh, that one. Use the foundry to have fun. Okay, it already counts. Okay. Well, I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a fail experiment. Yep. Oh, that was it? Okay, well, nice. Just the loom then. We don't have oh we do actually. We have copper ore. Yeah, sure, let's let's waste a copper ore. It is not a waste. Wow, metal rope. Okay. Interesting. Okay, lime powder. That's probably a fail experiment. Yeah. Even a perfect fail experiment. That it? That's it. You made so many mistakes. I wouldn't have made that many. My dad would say, don't worry about it too much. That would really make my mom mad. All right. Well, what's done is done. Let's uh, let's see if we can fish like some fake Everlight up around here. We need to go further away. Light bulb. Right, now we can do the uh, an arm and a leg as well. The real spirit ferret, yes, that one as well. Ah, talk to... Okay, okay, Edgeborough Lane. Music fan, so that, that has to be Edgeborough Lane then. Okay, yeah, we have two people to talk to here now. That's great. Let's go give the man his... Whatever it is he needs to to fix his leg. Still nothing there, nope. Which is extremely weird, but alas, here we are. Right up here. You got it all. Nice. One second. All right, all right. Boom. Nope. Did you think I was going to stand up? Actually, I was feeling pretty good sitting down. Darn. Now I don't know. Should I stand up and get tired? Should I sit down and get tired? Either way, I'll be tired. Just need to figure out what kind of tired I want to be. Sure. That was uh, very helpful. Now it's further over. You have it! The Everlight! Well, thank you very much! Yes. <coughs> Excuse me? Your services will no longer be required. Bye, au revoir, sayonara. Your reign of terror is finally over. I will retake my place as the one and only spirit bearer. I just need to remember how to turn this thing on. I'll figure it out by myself. Well, you, uh... You have fun with that. Didn't spot any cat. Maybe it's up there, but this is also locked. But I think for now we are at least finally done with this place. And I think oh, hello friend. We want to we want to get this done, but we're not gonna really gonna see anything. No. If we want anything else now, we need to go exploring on our own, which is absolutely fine. We need to figure out where we can buy some rice seeds. There were some rice fields down here. But evidently... Rice seed. There we go. Okay. Uh, where are we? We are there. We are pretty close. That's good. So one thing I was also saying in the uh, bit that that was unrecorded is that I think between this episode and the next I might do a whole bunch of crafting 
to try and use some of the materials that, that we just have lying about and turn it into something that we can sell for, for profit. So we can maybe get up to the, uh, to, to, to the biggest boat that we have. Um, and I might also redecorate or rearrange everything we have here to finally make ourselves a an area here where we have a gardening slash slash farming area with animals as well and also a um, a residential area and an industrious uh, industrial area so everything will be uh, everything will be in its own uh, in its own little area Okay, let's see. It was all the way on the other side of the map. We have to go to what is this? Is this Furugawa? Yeah. Okay. Do you have carrot seeds as well? No. That's okay. That's okay. Then we'll just take the rice seeds. Guess for now we will have to go to sleep. Yes. Perfect. It's been a while since we've been in this uh, in these parts of, uh, of of the world. Let's get everyone up, and with everyone there's really only the two, I guess. Yeah, why not? I can't do it. I thought Stanley said that maybe we have to be in the, in the mist area. Maybe we have to be in the mist area. That might just be the case. Okay, let's go get some rice seeds. We don't need too, too many of them. And then I think we're gonna see if we can find some carrot seeds. And then next episode, we'll probably continue our exploration. Uh, let's see what else we do have. Requests, rice, yeah. Mask off. Oh, you, you, you don't, you don't want the carrots anymore. Not that many, at least. Guess we'll go talk to them. Maybe they change their mind. I'm pretty sure we are, we are missing a, uh, a chest here. I don't. I just don't remember. Uh, Bye. That's what happens when you don't know where you're where you're going. Sure. Let's buy that. Uh, rice. Let's uh, buy like ten of them so we have. Hey you, the name's Megan. I run the streets, the street team for the Dice Boys here in Furukawa. We've got hungry fans, hungry for them bars. I'm dead ass. The Dice Boys are huge here. This new record warning, uh, this new record warning, Sacred Dog is really gonna push some boundaries, sonically and popularity-wise. I'm just so happy for them. They've been here for a minute. It's time people started recognizing their talent. Thanks for the shipment. Okay, well, nice. Hello. What are you doing here? Give you a hug. Yeah, okay. Wow, you are a big hugger. That feels nice. Anything in here? No, it doesn't look like that. I don't really know where we need to go for this second. It's not from here anyway. Ah, it's... Oh, okay. We should be able to get that. With our newfound ability now. Oh, 
Okay, we, we can definitely get that. We just need to not be so fast now, suddenly. Perfect. Somatite, and maybe those are recipes, actually, and maybe the reason it's not showing up anything is just because we already got it. Okay, let's talk to Mickey and Bruce, because... Clearly, they're not interested in all the carrots after all. What is your problem? You ruined this whole operation. The buyer is very specific about this cargo. What am I gonna do with carrots and or peaches? You're the worst partner I've ever had. You can't get even get a simple order straight. My brother would never mess up like this. I don't think this is going to work out. Let's go. You weren't ready to step up. I shouldn't have trusted you. Ah, shit. Listen, let's go. I know a place. It's called the Everdoor. Okay, we should go now. Wow, I wonder if... Um, if this w w w was even possible to do. Okay, well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's finish off by sending Mickey and Bruce through the door. They are not exactly my favorite people, so that's absolutely fine. That means we only have Stanley left. Maybe... I think I'm gonna take a look around the map just to see if there's any spirits anywhere that we've missed. There might be, you know, some, some quests here and there. Or somewhere we haven't been able to get to because... We, we are running out of spirits very quickly. I think the completion percentage set something in the 60s. But I can't remember if it was 68 or 62 or something like that. So we definitely still have a bit to go. And I think in, in terms of houses that we can still build, there's still a few. Three or four. Uh, Evador, yes. Off we go. Seems like we might quite rapidly here. We, we are just closing in. I don't. I don't want to say that we are almost done, but we are. It, it, it seems we've been advancing quite rapidly in the last few episodes. We'll see. We're not going to be one hundred percenting it, of course. But let's see how much we have left. You. You. You didn't need water. Oh, I guess not. No water for you, or is it because we had the ever door, so everything is suddenly different? Right, we actually need to talk to them first. Uh, I'm assuming they are flying around somewhere, so that's why the question mark is not uh, popping up. We need to talk. I've been... You know how I've been. Wanna go somewhere? Uh, sure. They... Mm, some of the stories have been very, very strange. Very strange. Some of them have been uh, really good. Others have been strange. These are very, like... They, some of them are very incoherent, I feel. Just all over the place. I almost forgot. Okay. That's why I couldn't sail yet. Listen, let's let's just get on. I can't do this job without my brother. Let's just get on and talk it through. Okay. Well, you get on the boat. I'm surprised it's not going to sink with uh, this guy in it. All right. I didn't plan this life for me and my brother. They used to call me the talker. I could uh, I could talk your ear off. I would never shut up. 
However, right now, I don't want to talk. I just... I should just be like my brother and take a moment. Pause and listen. Well, then you shall. Yeah, and think for a change. Bad chance. At my age, nothing is possible. Nobody changes. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying. Or trying to sell you something. The only thing I'd rather be is true to myself. That might make me an asshole in the end. That might make me a loyal brother to this man here. None of this shit matters. None of it. Do you think... Uh, do you know why we're here? It's because I have a small imagination. I can't see beyond my back streets, my town, my friends, my family. More importantly, I can't see a life beyond my brother. If he goes, I go. Funny thing is, he went a long time ago. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. I was holding on to something from the past. My reputation. My house, my car, whatever it was. It was nice while it lasted. It just doesn't change anything. Anyway, you slice it. We are still Ma uh, Maria's kids from South Broad. Nothing's ever gonna change. Not even in the end. All right, Mickey. Deep breaths. Maybe they meant it quite literally, like like he was carrying it around, since she's he's literally lifting around his brother. Let's go see what everyone has been raving about. I'll send you a postcard, kid. Big group hug. That's actually two of them. That's nice. Okay, well, that is... Uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. Is there no... Uh, no flower? There should be, right? Yeah, yeah, there is. Okay, just didn't show up. That's fine. That's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, again, I do apologize by the, uh, for that little hiccup, uh, but that's... That happens sometimes. Even uh, even though I, I I definitely do everything I can to to check that everything is okay, especially with all the hiccups that's been in the past, some things will happen sometimes anyway, and that's how it is. But you didn't miss much, luckily. For now, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care. <laughs>